Hi folks, Rory here. Welcome to another comic book hunting video. This weekend's one is a little bit different because it spans two days. So, uh, firstly, let's set, run a little video package of what I got up to on day one. <laughs> Clip you'll have seen that uh, I'm around Stratford upon Avon, which is quite nice. We ended up in a uh, shop called Vintage Toys and Bricks, which was cool. Um, didn't really buy anything from any of the, those places to be fair. I only ended up actually uh, getting a few purchases. I mean, from the from the car boot itself that was at the beginning of that video, I uh, picked up two items, which I'll show you one. The first one I picked up was three pound, and it's awesome. It's a Marvel Comics Doctor Who magazine from 1998, which you wouldn't think would, would be that valuable, but it's actually signed by Colin Baker on there, so that's uh, pretty damn cool. So quite cheap, quite chuffed with that. As I say, free pound, can't grumble. Uh, the other thing I got is something that I uh, I remember owning when I was a kid, and one of my the first uh, introductions to Marvel, and it's the Marvel Comic Annual, which. Uh, Obviously, if you're British, you know, quite a lot of the uh, the British printings came out in annual form, and this includes like the first issue of Captain America, Submariner, Spider Man, things like that. And uh, yeah, there's bits where it's got like the, the coming of the Avengers, it, it's really good. So, but then on top of that, um, I didn't actually buy anything from the Vintage Toys and Bricks place, um, but what I did do was I went to uh, WH Smith's, which is bizarre of all places and found some really cool treasures in the Joker War Saga and Spider-Man and Deadpool Omnibus which uh, the omnibuses that, they've, that have been coming out have been pretty damn cool because basically Panini does all the UK Marvel comics and they've printed this but they instead of just relying on just straight reprinting graphic novels they've now been going and giving you a ridiculous amount of extras and yeah oversized books and stuff it, it's really good good value so but that was the first day anyway so uh yeah not too bad only well only four items oh no sorry five items because the other thing i picked up from a wh smith was the spider-man 60 amazing years special which is great because it, it you know it's got features on every era of spider-man from his debut until now and yeah it's just a really good book it just works as a as a guide to all things Spidey, so it's definitely worth picking up and worth a read. Again, this is also from uh, Panini Comics and uh, available in Smiths. So yeah, so that was my Saturday. As I say, not much, but uh, one well, I'll run you a little clip of my Sunday because my Sunday was awesome. <laughs> Sunday's haul, um, you'll have seen at the end of the video, there's a big bag of books, and the first things that I got were a couple of issues of Spider-Man, the Miles Morales series, issues uh, 3 and 4 by Brian Bendis, I collect Spider-Man comics, so that, that was something that, I've, that I just saw and thought, yeah, I'll have them, um, because I haven't actually got any of those yet, however, they cost me a pound each, and then I went to another store, and I got a massive stack of graphic novels, which were all a pound each. And I'll show you the first thing that I got off of there, which is a Spider-Man Mars Morales uh, Volume 1, which includes those two comics that I picked up. So, so for in the same car boot, I ended up with the same issues twice, which is mental. So, anyway, this bag basically is full of graphic novels, and with that Mars Morales one on there, I spent a total of £12 on these, and any one of them is worth that alone, so... Let's go through what we've got. So, first up, Green Arrow and Black Canary for better or for worse, which was highlighting all the stuff in the Green Arrow and Black Canary relationship just as DC were about to have them get married. So they, they did the, 
that special run up thing. I've got a couple of preacher graphic novels, which are Proud American and The End of the World. Now, Proud American is volume three, End of the World's volume two. I've already got uh, book one somewhere, and I've also got I've got a different version of Proud American, and I've got it signed by Glenn Fabry because uh, I'm back in Wales the other year. So, yeah, my preacher collection has just instantly grown, which is awesome. Uh, one of the other books that was in there, which is fantastic, especially considering the size of it, is The Return of Superman, which was in the mid-90s when they killed Superman off fighting Doomsday. And as you can see by the, the sheer size of it, this collects ev absolutely everything that led to his return. So, yeah, all sorts of uh, stuff in here, and it, it's great. And so you get all, all of the... Uh, different stuff with Superboy, the Eradicator, Steel and all that sort of stuff. And there's also Judge Dread Origins by John Wagner, which uh, I don't think I've read before, so I'm quite looking forward to that. There's a Bram Stoker Dracula, like sort of graphic novel, sort of manga. Thing. So, so that's pretty cool. That's something that, that I haven't seen before, but because it was in there and it was cheap, I just got it anyway. There is... Batman Death of the Family which is by Scott Snyder and the arts by Greg Capello one of the best duos on modern Batman comics and basically a, this was an instant classic so yeah so that was definitely worth grabbing um, from an instant classic to an all time classic uh, Batman Arkham Asylum by Grant Morrison which uh, is a nice hefty hardback and yeah proper special edition these things are worth a small fortune and it's really rare to find it. and this is actually I'll just show you there we've got the number code this is the first British printing of it so that's pretty pretty damn cool first edition of the Arkham Asylum nice um next thing oh, this one isn't a graphic novel but it's the size of a mini graphic novel Captain America issue 350 and he, as you can see it's got Captain versus Captain America that's when Steve Rogers was the captain and John Walker was Captain America, and this is the point where he took the, the mantle back. But it was a special ed edition when it came out in 1989, I believe. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, 1989. Um, as you can see, it's even got a little spine on it and everything because it was a special edition. So that's pretty cool. Um, next thing, this is missing a dust cover, but it's still pretty cool. As you see, it just looks like a black book. It is Batman Crimson Mist, which... Uh, is one of the awesome Elseworlds titles. It was the when Batman decided, well, when Batman was turned into a vampire, basically. So, yeah, very good stuff. Um, what else have we got in here? There's still more stuff to come. Um, ah, Hellblazer: Original Sins, which is Volume One, and it collects issues 76 and 77 of Swamp Thing. The expanded edition also includes issues one to nine of Hellblazer as well, so yeah, it's great. I've read all of these ones before, but uh, I haven't. Yeah, I, I don't own them anymore. But I'm quite looking forward to uh, to giving that a read again because, well, Constantine's awesome. So yeah, uh, what else? Ah, oh, one of the Ultimate Marvel graphic novel collections. Um, I've got quite a few of these anyway, but this is one that I didn't have, which is Captain America: The New Deal, and that was. Issues 1 to 6 of the Marvel Knights relaunch of Captain America. So, yeah. Just more more cool stuff. Um, getting to the end of it now because there's three more books. Uh, these two I'm just going to show at the same time. These are ex-library books, which is a shame. But they're pretty cool. So we've got Superman Beyond, Man of Tomorrow. And Superman, The Coming of Atlas. Never heard or read of either of these. And I'm just looking forward to having a read of them. Because they're, yeah. So I've got those pure, um, there's a, uh, well most of these are purely to read anyway. Now this last one, I'm really looking forward to reading it and it's basically, it's Batman vs Predator 2. Um, I had Batman vs Predator 1 which is awesome. I knew they did a second one but I've never been able to, to find it for a, a reasonable price and then obviously today I got it for a stupid price of a pound which is fantastic. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it. So, let's just quickly show you the the sheer volume of crap that I've picked up, so one big stack go in there, back in that bag. And then another
another big stack. Yeah, and then the, the Mars Morales stuff. So yeah, it's been, today's definitely been a lot more uh, worthwhile than yesterday. Um, one cool thing that came in the post yesterday was, obviously it's not from Garvey, but it's from online comic book hunting. I've just noticed this on myself. This is uh, X-Men Dream's End, which is when Colossus died to uh, end the legacy virus and stuff. It's the, the last volume of X-Men before Grant Morrison took over. Um, this I won on eBay for 4 99 which is an absolute steal. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all the cool crap I've had this weekend. Sunday's definitely been a lot better for what we've had the, the day before. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just been great. So... Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, you know, please like the video, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and uh, catch us later. We are we have been recently doing a Star Wars podcast on this channel, which is doing quite well. I think the first episode's got over a thousand views at time of recording, which is nice. There'll be another episode dropping within the next couple of days of that. So uh, yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, please uh, check out the other stuff on the channel. So again, thank you very much. See ya.